Hi, I'm Sergeant First Class Kenny Scott, and with me today is Colonel Ace Campbell. He is the headquarters of the Department of the Army, G2 Forward. And sir, we're not on a carnival ride. What's going on here? Why are we moving around? <laughs> no, actually, Kenny, you're sitting on the ground station for a persistent surveillance uh, ground system, and it's called the PGSS. It's a big balloon or aerostat that's uh, way up in the sky above us. And the ground station moves to compensate for the uh, moving of the balloon. So, sir, what is the uh, purpose of this balloon? The balloon or the aerostat is a big eye in the sky. It helps us keep an eye on all the uh, enemy activities in and around uh, this base. We have them uh, spread throughout uh, the entire country. They work very well in Iraq, and we expect that they're going to work well here. And about how high up in the sky is it? Actual height is classified, but I can tell you it's over 1,500 feet. The height gives us uh, better angles so we can see at greater distances or pretty much anything that they do from uh, placing IEDs to uh, setting up attacks uh, on our convoys uh, to uh, nefarious meetings. <laughs> and there's no way the enemy's going to get away from you? Uh, once we got him, we've got him. So, sir, how much can this aerostat lift? Uh, this particular aerostat uh, lifts about 500 pounds, and uh, that's enough for a couple cameras and a few other uh, devices. The balloon itself is uh, aerodynamic in nature, so it actually moves and uh, turns into the wind. It takes a little bit to bring it down, and, uh, but they do that occasionally for uh, maintenance on the balloon, maintenance on the, uh, the cameras and other uh, items on the balloon, and to top off the helium. How does it compare to a regular helium balloon that you might get from a store or a restaurant? Very good question. A lot of people ask the question, well, what happens if they shoot at it? You know, won't it explode, won't it pop? Well, the bottom line is a helium balloon that you get from a store, a party balloon, works on overpressure. The pressure inside the balloon is much greater than the pressure outside, so whenever you pop it, it explodes. Uh, the pressure on the inside of this balloon is pretty much the same as the pressure outside. So uh, history has shown that whenever you shoot at it, if you hit it, uh, it just punches a little hole in it and enough holes it starts to leak a little helium and we eventually bring it down, patch it up and put it back up. We, we actually like people to shoot at it. Uh, when they start shooting at it, it tells us where they are. It's an absolute great deterrent. It not only does what we call force protection, uh, which is protect the base, but it's also what we consider an intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance asset. So it helps us keep track of where the enemy's going, what it's doing, what his movements are. And so it's hard for him to sneak in and sneak around. This balloon was uh, Christian Divum Oculus, which means eye in the sky. And uh, also told him, they call it Diva for short. And, uh, you know, we kind of kid around and say uh, Diva means that it's high speed, high drag, high maintenance. But it's actually not that bad. <laughs> the commander of Task Force Rockasong, Colonel Viet Le Wong, will have the PGSS at his disposal on a daily basis as it towers high over Fob Salerno. Reporting for Task Force Rockasong PAO, I'm Sergeant First Class Kenny Scott.